And now I'm here. stuff like stuff for instance what the hell is conveyancing and how does that sound like anything to do with a house a solicitor what do they actually do and how do they charge so much money for it like some of the things that you don't know is, is ridiculous like what the hell is a credit score credit cards Literally, credit cards. You always let to believe they're bad. You get into bad credit card debt. Actually, it can be very helpful. I mean, there's no need for it to be this, this bad thing that people say it is. And to be honest, a lot of this could have been avoided if we'd have learnt this kind of information when we were younger, before we needed to know it, before we were forced to learn things in such a short amount of time for a particular, uh, particular task or reason such as if you're buying a house, you need to know what, what solicitor does, you need to know the process, you need to know what conveyancing is. You have to learn all that very, very quickly or just take someone else's word for it because you just don't know those things. Based on that, I thought, right, why don't we learn certain things in schools? I mean, like cooking is such a basic skill, a basic life skill. It doesn't need to be amazing you know, restaurant quality cooking that you do. And, you know, I think in food tech, I made a bolognese and a Victoria sponge. Tasty, yes, but not the basis of a well-balanced diet. I decided to have a, look, a, little, a little look online. PSAG, which stands for Personal, Social and Health Education. We all did it at school. Um, if you don't remember, remember doing it, it's that bit where you uh, get taught how to put a condom on a plastic object. Those, those were the days. So, you would think that you would learn these things in PSAG you don't. Um, in PSHE I learned um, I learned that you can one still get arrested for stealing a one penny suite from a post office if you can indeed find a one penny suite in a post office. Um, I also learned how to write a CV multiple times. Thank you very much my school. Uh, what I didn't learn was about finance, looking after myself in the future, why it's important to have a pension, these, these things. Um, I feel there were problems there. Now, whether it was just my school or, or someone else, or you know, or whether it was across the board, I can't say. All I've got is my experience. And my experience is that I think my teachers are more interested in marking their books for that hour a week um, because we spent so long just watching videos. Um, yeah, I don't mean related to my personal health. Um, I mean, like Mr. Bean. That, that, that extent. I have a passage here on, on the PSHG Wikipedia page. And it says, in 2011, the government conducted a review basically to check the content 
and how uh, the content of the PSHE course, the, the curriculum based around that, and the quality of the teaching. In 2013, the report basically said that PSHE would remain non-statutory and no, no new programmes of study would be added. So that basically means that they felt that it was adequate and that a, a course was put in place 10, maybe more years ago that they think is still suitable for now. Um, I think you can find out more information on a TV advert about why you should have a pension than I learned when I was at school. And I don't think that's acceptable. So, why don't you know these things? Because you just weren't taught them. You're ha you have to find them out in your own life. I mean, I suppose that is why financial advisors uh, have, a, have a job. They advise you on things that you don't know the answers to yourself. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blaming schools here. Schools do what they're told. So, I'm not necessarily blaming the government either. But whoever did the review clearly didn't check things properly because there is a need for more updated, more relevant knowledge in PSAHE lessons. I had one a week, maybe it should be two or three a week. Especially when you get to the last year of, of your compulsory schooling. So, anyway, that was a bit serious for, for my YouTube channel, but I felt like I needed to say it. I felt like I needed to just explain that I also don't know these things, um, so you're not alone. Thank you. Uh -huh. so this is how my commute to work goes. Everyone's looking at me filming. Uh, I don't film every day. It might be too windy, but I'm just going to talk anyway. So, it starts going along the main road. This is the main road. we go up, we walk up over the, the motorway ramp, because there's only one way. I'm not about to skate up the road, so... That's all traffic that I would be in. So, like, why wouldn't I want to? Why wouldn't I just skate? I told you the sun was shining now. Good morning, Reading! It's gonna need a clean. Yeah.